active galaxies require a massive compact energy source of enormous strength to stabilize the orbits of stars contained within them. The engine, which drives the direction of rotation and shape of each galaxy, consists of what astrophysicists refer to as a supermassive black hole located in the direct center. The central black hole located within our galaxy contains an estimated mass of over one trillion stars and is believed to be over two trillion miles in diameter. Many leading astro and quantum physicists also believe that supermassive black holes spin at an unbelievably high rate due to their overwhelming mass. At this high rate of spin, the black hole's projected gravitational field is no longer spherical, but rather flattens out to form a massive yet extremely thin spinning disk. Our galactic plane can easily be identified by even the untrained eye. As one views the shape and characteristics of our own galaxy from images provided by the Hubble telescope and projected computer simulations, we can easily see that all matter moves and is formed around this flattened gravitational influence. This also explains why all galaxies are flat and circular. If you look at our own galaxy, there exists a dark band which shows you where this gravitational plane is located, where galactic dust and mass has been collecting since the birth of the galaxy. This is where we can easily see the location of the galactic plane, which is what modern science refers to as the galactic equinox. But what does this have to do with humanity's future? In the Milky Way, which is an active galaxy, our solar system cyclically moves above and below this galactic plane. As stars and planetary systems, including our own, approach this galactic plane, the gravitational influence increases, which disturbs the stability of each planet, including Earth. The passage through the densest portion of the gravitational plane is the direct cause of the devastating cycles and pole shifts that we see recorded throughout Earth's history. This cyclic nature of our solar system as we move through the Milky Way is precisely how many ancient civilizations based their calendar systems. The Mayans themselves describe what they refer to as the dark rift or the galactic plane in ways eerily similar to those of modern scientists and physicists. The Mayans state that the end of each age, which brings about worldwide devastation, is defined by the world sitting on the dark rift. Even though the Mayans don't clearly present the science behind why the galactic plane causes severe implications upon Earth's stability in modern terminology, it is very clear that we are talking about the same event, an event where the Earth passes through the galactic equinox, the dark rift, or the central plane. It all refers to the cyclic and destructive gravitational influence created by the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Researchers and scientists agree that we are indeed approaching the end of what the Mayans define as the current age. Even though many science groups are still debating the full implications of what passing through the galactic plane will have upon Earth, we have already begun to see the early stages that the increased gravitational influence is having upon our world and other planets in the solar system. As we approach the gravitational plane, we will continue to experience severe weather and ecological effects such as earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes and volcanic activity with increased frequency and intensity. As we penetrate the densest portion of the galactic plane, and experience the full gravitational effects, we may witness unprecedented solar flares, unexpected meteor showers, and one or more geographical pole shifts. Subsequently, unexpected celestial objects may pass through the solar system as they too are influenced by the gravitational plane. This may account for the ancient records describing several past worldwide catastrophes accompanied by passing bodies, comets, or what some researchers today refer to as Planet X. Utilizing the latest in research data, we can speculate that due to the overwhelming rate of spin and the generated gravitational field, the galactic plane or gravitational disk could relatively be paper thin requiring Earth with our current speed of movement through the galaxy only a few years to completely pass through this plane, experiencing the full effect upon Earth's stability. If this
this data is correct, could this be what the Bible refers to as the seven years of tribulation in which the earth undergoes a series of devastating global catastrophes which result in the death of billions? Well, one thing is for sure. The ancients endured several worldwide catastrophes that all but erased their civilizations from the face of the earth. Their clues, structural remains, and records have attempted to warn us and prepare us for the reoccurrence of this cyclic event. Warnings that so far humanity has ignored. Though modern researchers have a general time frame, we are still unable to pinpoint the exact year in which we will begin passing through the galactic plane. So even though the telltale signs are already evident throughout our world, how can it be known for sure when you should be bracing for tomorrow? Computer simulations utilizing the collection of knowledge we have amassed through decades of galactic models and satellite data tells us that our solar system will definitely begin passing through the galactic plane in the very near future. The most severe effects that will cause worldwide devastation and a pole shift are most likely to occur beginning sometime between the years 2008 and 2015. Stuff to go is not easy. Sticks. It's kind of 
kind of gooey. Thank you.